In this video, I want to summarize a particular problem where we're trying to estimate, uh, get a best estimate in the uncertainty for the difference between two sets of data. <clears throat> this could be used to, say, compare um, predictions of high temperature and what actually happens, for example. Um, so imagine I have, uh, oh, and I want to say that the um, here's a URL for um, the statistical inference book. Chapter 8 goes through examples very much like this and has more detailed explanation. The introductory chapters uh, introduce all the concepts. So if you want to read more, this is a good uh, uh, reference uh, and that's there. So uh, imagine we have this data here. Um, and you know here's one set of data and here's another one all right so and we want to look at the 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 difference between them we just take the the difference and notice when i'm on this cell i have uh, um the the equations up here and this is the this is the 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 difference some of them are positive, some of them are negative, where you've overestimated and underestimated. So we want to kind of get the best estimate of this difference and to, to see how different are these two um, data sets and how confident are we in that difference. And many times we want to know whether the, the difference is actually zero, whether these, whether these are, um, uh, whether, these, whether we can say from this data that these um, data are similar. So um, the, the way we do it is we essentially get the best estimate of the difference, which is simply the mean. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking the average of the um, uh, of, of these different values. Now to quantify the uncertainty, we have to calculate out something what's called the standard deviation. And so the standard deviation and the Excel spreadsheet equation is STDEV um, is a measure of the spread of the of the data. So uh, so in this case we're just looking at this this difference row and you know sometimes it's a little higher, sometimes it's a little lower. Um, and um, on um, on average, we, we essentially have a, a standard deviation of three, mostly because the uh, um, you know we have a you know five and a negative four and a three and so on. If these values were closer together, so let's say this was an actual four. Okay, so these values are all very similar. Notice that the standard deviation is much smaller. Um, and, and so the standard deviation is a measure of the spread uh, of the data. Um, in order to calculate our uncertainties in our best estimate, we actually need the number of data points. This is just, you know, I just you know, you know, count up how, how many there, there are. Um, and... Um, and, and, and so on, I, I could use the count function if I, if, if I wanted to. The uncertainty in our best estimate is given by the standard deviation over the square root of the number of, of data points. Uh, it's not important to know where that comes from. It's just you know, essentially that, that um, the larger the spread in the data, the less certain we are in our best estimate. And the, um, and, but the more data points we have, the more certain we, we, we are in that, in that value. Um, so it is common to construct so so uh, so first of all, there's there's the equation for it. Essentially, I'm just taking the the, the standard deviation over the number of data points, the square root of the number of data points. Um, it is common to um, represent the uncertainty in terms of what's called a 95% credible range. Um, sometimes they're just called the 95% range um, in the uncertainty, and that's given by um, just twice this uncertainty value kind of on either side. So so we have our best estimate minus twice this uh, gives us our lower bound for our uncertainty. Our best estimate plus twice that gives us our upper bound. Um, and we're 95% uh, sure if under the model that um, we have a a uh, single best estimate that the best estimate falls within this range. Um, so, so here we have the, the you have the way that we might write it mathematically. But, but all I'm doing here is I'm just taking the best estimate minus twice 
standard deviation over the number of data points, and the same the, and and the same thing uh, um, um, for the plus. So so we have kind of the lower bound and the upper bound. There's a couple different ways of writing this. It's common in um, the scientific literature to uh, simply write the best estimate plus or minus the uncertainty, knowing that really the 95% range is plus or minus twice this. Um, but this is just the mo kind of mo most common. A, a, a slightly clearer way, I think, is to write the best estimate and then put the actual range uh, in a bracket with kind of a, an underscore for 95%. And this, this makes it clear that this is the 95% range. Um, so we have our best estimate and we have our uncertainty. We can ask certain questions uh, about that. For example, does this interval contain zero? And so does it does it straddle zero? Essentially, is one of these values negative and one of them positive? Um, and that tells us, so, so in this case, the answer is no. Uh, zero is not in there, so we can be confident that that this best estimate is actually um, significant. That we that that we uh, and what I mean by that is is that we can be confident that there is a difference between these two data sets. If the um, um, if, if the ninety five percent confidence interval does not contain uh, zero, so for example, let's say. Um, let's say that some of this data, they say I put 23 there, um, and I put 45 here, and so on. So I have, I have a, you know, kind of changing our data, making the data more variable, essentially. And notice what happens is our, our range will change, and now it does contain zero. We, you know, the lower bound is below zero, the upper bound is, is above zero. And now I can't say that I'm confident that these two, um, uh, data sets are different, that they, that they really reflect different values. Even though each one of these, uh, you know, the, they don't match, right? They're not zero. The differences aren't zero. I, I can't be confident that, that, that the actual difference is uh, not zero. Um, and that, you know, because this could just be all just the variation in the data and, and so on. Um, so this can, it gives us a sense for um, how that um, you know both the best estimate, but also in terms of you know how uncertain we are. If we're asking the question, um, you know, is is a prediction biased? For example, the forecast for high temperature are they, is do they do they overestimate? Um, uh, so a value of 2.43 uh, would mean that they overestimate. A negative value for the best estimate would mean they'd underestimate. Um, but we can only confidently say that if the uncertainty range, the 95% range, does not contain zero. If it does, we really just can't say much about, uh, about it. It's just the, the data is too variable. Roughly speaking, if I have two intervals to compare, so let's say I, I want to compare um, uh, two different uh, weather forecasting websites uh, predicting high temperature, and so I can calculate out this interval, best estimate, and, and, and these intervals. If the intervals overlap, then you really can't say strongly that the uh, um, that that they're giving different predictions. If they don't overlap, then you can then you're confident that the um, the, the, the 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 two um, uh, sources are giving different predictions, and so, so what we c can see here in summary is that you know this straightforward procedure of essentially getting best estimates and estimating the uncertainty allows us to not just uh, look at differences, but also how confident are we that these differences are in fact real.